I am Sahan uh, and I've been a founder member uh, of the band Glory for the past 10 years. I, it's been always a dream to uh, release one of my own originals for the longest time and uh, finally uh, this week I was able to release my very first original Katakari. Katakari my schoolmate uh, from uh, Royal College, uh, Abad Fauzan, which uh, he goes as Jabro, as a stage name. And uh, he and I met uh, recently, about six, seven months back, at a coffee shop after a really long time after leaving school. And he was asking me, like, Majang, what's going on? And, uh, and then, like, I introduced him to the song. In, introduced him to some of the work that I'm doing and he was like we should get together and do something. After about eight years after school I met Sahan I think in 2019 at an event at Waters Hitch. So that's when we reintroduced each other and I always used to love Sahan's music because even back when we were schooling Sahan and Glory were like a huge thing you know we were fanboying them at that time. And then he brought in one of his friends who is a music producer as well Clyde Rodrigo and and then he brought his input into the song and uh, when everyone got together it, it was like a it was a crazy project to work with Just to expand on Sahan's story, Clyde, uh, you know, took uh, took uh, took the, listened to the music and he started developing the beats uh, as he saw fit. And then I I started it, like creating this concept of how we can develop Sahan's existing concept. Um, so that's when uh, I brought in Hasita, who who was my previous colleague, uh, to help me out with the Singhala lyrics. And then slowly, as the song progressed, we started thinking about. The, the visual aspect of it and, and we thought this song needs a good visual. And then uh, my sister-in-law actually, Shania, she's also the art director for the project and uh, I was at her place for, for one of her parties and then uh, met her schoolmate, Sachiko, who became the director and the DOP of our project. Hi everyone, uh, I'm Sachiko Jayaratna and I'm the DOP and the director for the music video Katakari. Um, so a bit about myself, um, I was studying in the States for uh, about four years and then I stayed back and I studied um, filming for about four more years and I got involved in a lot of production uh, based um, projects and uh, got into filmmaking uh, four years ago and I was in the industry for about six years. Um, so after all of that, I came down to Sri Lanka and um, wanted to pursue my career further here. And uh, Katakari was one of the opportunities, one of my first opportunities um, as a project for filmmaking um, in the Sri Lankan industry. And when I met her and she, we kind of had a conversation and uh, she showed me some of her work which she had done back in the States when she was studying there. And I was mesmerized with her work. So, and then I, I knew at that moment she had to do this video. Once all of that kind of uh, came together, he contacted me a week later asking, if I wanted to be the director of his music video. Speaking about the Katakari concept, uh, now if you are if you're looking at the video, uh, the story that you are seeing is of this guy um, uh, who had a girl who, who was chasing this guy, right? Uh, she, she was extremely in love with him and was ready to give her entire life for him. Uh, and he too had feelings for her, but it was one of those cases where he took that love for granted. And then uh, I had seen this uh, movement specialist or artist called Rangi on Instagram. I introduced Rangi's Instagram profile to Abad and we looked at her stuff and we thought that that had to be her in our video. Uh, hi, my name is Rangi and uh, I'm the dancer in the project and uh, 
I just want to talk about the reason behind why I said okay to this music video. It's actually my when Sahan reached out to me, it was initially my first music video in Sri Lanka, and that's actually something I had um, as a milestone set for me for this year because I've never done one. When Sahan reached out to me, of course I knew um, of him, I knew of the band Glory. Because of that, I knew who he was, so I did some um, research on like the type of music that, that he does. And I also asked him about the video concept. The concept itself, it's a one take that I had always dreamed of doing. Um, and obviously you all get inspiration from watching videos on YouTube and stuff. So I came across uh, the one take concept by watching a video, um, a music video that was uh, shot in Texas and I was immediately, I fell in love with it and it's something that I always wanted to try. Uh, so if you had to, just to break down the video, now when you're watching the video there's a scene where Sahan walks into a stage and he starts performing and he all of a sudden sees this girl, who's the girl of his dreams, walk in and start dancing. And then towards the end of the video, we, there's this huge reveal where we are made to question whether that girl was there for real or was she a figment of his imagination. Doing a one take takes a lot of practice. And for us to practice, we needed at least, because, of, because it was a three minute, 40 second video, we needed so much practice for us to get everything right in terms of framing for a camera. And everyone worked so hard for it. Rangi with her movement, she, she just like, she just came, it was like magic for me, honestly. When she came in and she just like pulled out all her movements and then she just started dancing, I was like, oh my God, this girl just knows what she's doing. I'm quite hesitant on uh, blocking out choreography. Yes, I do it, but at the same time, I want to be very genuine in it. So whenever I have to do some, the same thing over and over again and stick to the same lines over and over again, sometimes I feel quite restricted and the joy of it reduces. So. When Sahan kind of uh, brought out this whole concept of a one take, that kind of sparked this light in me because I knew a one take meant that I get to be free. Because uh, that also means I don't have to keep doing the same thing over and over so to make sure the edits uh, come out correctly. <laughs> Talking about Katakari, the song, how it came to be, uh, this was actually a melody that I had in my mind about six, seven years back. And it was just lying there. It was just one of those projects that was just there. Some of the lyrics uh, figured out, but not the entire song, obviously, because it was just lying there. And then when Abad and I got together about this song, because he's a rapper and he's, he's mainly he had rapped in English and Tamil and not Sinhalese. And I need to mention two more people, although there are a ton more people. That's Clyde Rodrigo, who's, you know, who I've worked a lot with before. Um, my you know, one half of the music producer in this video, along with Sahan Silva. Um, I think he did a phenomenal job uh, getting the beats right, because he knows my taste, because we've worked on a few projects. He knows what I like in terms of beats, and that kind of really helped me with my rapping as well. Gave me a lot of energy. And then, of course, Hasita, Fernando, my brother, I love you my friend, if you're watching this, uh, you spent a ton of time in the studio perfecting the lyrics and I'm super grateful for you. And I didn't have much experience in writing raps. I'm also still practicing writing ly lyrics. So, and then he brought in one of his friends, Hasita, uh, which we got together and wrote this amazing piece of uh, lyrics for the rap. Uh, and then with Clyde, with the music production, uh, we got together and the, the combination was just perfect because his sense of production and the genre of music that he likes was really, you know, when it combined with my taste and flavor for the song, it, it really glued together. Cut the curry, 
hita hita spura vana hada kare muli pitwe nagar ganna ta obava mage pari asunet na penunet na danunet na api mituran vunu nisa do hita rendu ne manna so i think a lot of people who watch the video think that i'm this evil guy in this video cuz like da i do look like the evil guy in it i have this old baddie look can i come and i'm very aggressive towards uh main character in the video um rangi but then of course if you really think about what actually happens there i'm not the bad guy i'm actually the good guy so going back to the concept of the one take uh the reason why i was so um into this whole project was that i realized that i could kind of bring out the strengths that i had in me as a movement artist i really like improvising and um in movement there's something called contact improvisation and usually we do it uh with other dancers but in this case i realized that sachiko and i were actually in contact improvisation so the whole time the um video was going on i knew exactly where she was i knew which angle she was taking me from and she knew exactly what kind of movement that i was doing so even though you can't really see her um she's behind the camera but we are always in contact in every scene in every movement that i'm doing i know exactly where she is so to me that was a whole other experience and i think it's an experience that um probably is once in a lifetime for me i mean i i'm hoping it won't be but um definitely something that uh, will last a lifetime in terms of memory on the day off i as a dop i think i the most challenging uh, part for me was i uh, the camera that the camera and the rig the whole setup it was heavier than i expected um because it was a 3 minute 40 second video and i had to keep holding on to it and film throughout it was about i think the entire rig was about 17 kg and i had to uh run around with it but um with the help of the team and them pushing me through i got through it obalanga tipu nata pipu nu malaka lassana pene veda mama yadi kasi hina luku banda mata hangu wata obe oye hite ati deya mata tanu nema obe ne tu mama na hata tanadi it was just getting the frames right going from sahan to abad to rangi and then switching the two and then going again because there was one part of the video where we um just frame abad and rangi where they're rapping where abad's rapping and rangi's kind of battling that's one of my favorite frames where the camera moves really strongly to the right and it just like sets in the middle that's one of the best frames of the music video I was quite uh, nervous about my costume uh, because we kept uh, doing the takes over and over again so it was important for me to make sure there was nothing you know going on uh, with the costume so that kind of had to stay in place so Shania was a big help for me right from the start of uh, you know getting the uh, design of the costume sorted to going for all the fitons and on the day of the production she was just there i didn't even have to say anything she was just there knowing exactly what i wanted hi i'm shania and i am the art director for the project katakari so when chiko asked me to be a part of this production so she had uh, also just come back from the us and everything and i do have a little bit of, i mean i i'm a interior designer by profession so i have experience with dealing with suppliers and getting things organized getting putting a project together also i've been a part of theater production so i know how it works so because of that it was easy for me to get about doing things but of course i want to say that it was a team effort namudda mata mavi pene oberu hama tana dan obana piti kale age no tibulu ka hetu wa inna da ba api ge kale matak pene hama mo hodema inna da ba it didn't feel like a shoot it felt like um, actually that i was on stage performing because i knew from the start uh, from the call out saying action to the cut i had to just keep going so it was a little bit of a challenge in terms of uh, stamina uh, because i had to kind of keep going that whole time and also it was a bit of a challenge in terms of uh, connecting to the two different sides because there was one side where i had to be very soft and then there was one side where i had to kind of really uh, go into this whole battle with uh, sahan's subconscious mind and getting that right we took about i think 
just with rehearsals, I think we took about 14 takes just to get that. Um, but overall, on the day off, I didn't want to exhaust anyone. So we stuck to about nine to 12 takes. We didn't want to go more than that or below that. So we wanted to stick to about nine to 12 takes and we did, we did about, I think 11 takes. And that was it for us. Um, again, but all of this was possible because of a phenomenal team and everyone understood the concept of it. Dealing with all of the logistics to finding the location, getting the costumes, the makeup, the cast, um, all of that, getting it all together was my role in the project. And I just want to mention also um, about something that I've learned from this project is um, one thing is all of the people of the main cast who were involved in the project, Sahan, Abar, Rangi and Shiko, they were all really passionate about the project. You know, and it was really nice to see that. It was really nice, like Sahan was very involved in his music and how he wants it to put together, Chico in terms of videography, Rangi in terms of movement, Abad in his role in what he has to bring to the project. So everything sort of, it, it, it glued well together. So it was a fun experience. It didn't seem like a task or a, you know, a, a job or anything like that. It was something that came naturally and um, something that I had a lot, a lot of fun doing. <laughs> So I want to talk uh, and actually thank the cast who was involved in the project. They were all my, um, I mean, almost 95% of them were my theatre friends. So they had a, have an understanding and idea about how productions work. And they were like stars from the beginning, you know, like even, even because the concept was a one take and everything and we had to take it a few times if we had made a mistake or something, we had to roll it again. So they were like such good sports um, and really, really I'm thankful uh, for them for being a part of the project. The movements going along with the lighting and everything, we just couldn't figure out yet because, you know, there were certain shadows that were falling in on the frame and so we needed professional help and that's when we uh, reached out to a lighting team that came in and handled. So thank you Mahesh uh, for your help, um, you did an amazing job with the lighting part of it. And also Epic Cinema, thank you so much for your help too, because you guys did a great job in providing the equipment and being very um, thorough with the concept also. I want to especially thank uh, Vinod from Brick House uh, for, for the master and the mix of the song. And then everybody from the video production crew and the cast that took part in the video. They were, they were a great support and they were really patient with the production because it took a while and you know it took some time more than we anticipated. And then I want to thank family and friends of each of our uh, team members for being patient with us and being very supportive. Uh, finally, I want to mention the record label that our song is on uh, Artist's Agenda, which belongs to Anush Milroy. The making of Katakari was certainly not easy. Um, everyone here has really put in a ton of work. Uh, so if you look at Sahan, just very quickly, he was in charge of the entire production, from the melody to you know the lyrics to the, the vocals of his, getting it recorded, getting it mixed and mastered, and then working on the visuals, the production, and then the final output and then of course the distribution side of it as well. So he is, uh, I would say, is going to be one of the greatest musicians in the country. He already is in my eyes, but the rest of the country is going to get to know him in uh, the next couple of years. So mark my words, remember the name, Sahan Silva. So you all can follow me, uh, subscribe to my channel on YouTube, it's Sahan Silva. And Abad, he goes as Jabro. 
and Rangi Fernando. You can check out their stuff as well. Also, you can find my Instagram, which goes as sahan.silva. Uh, about Fauzan, Rangi.f. Finally, I want to thank Hi TV Curtain Call for giving me the opportunity. This is my very first interview as a solo artist. Even though I've been in the industry for about 10 years, I this is like a milestone in my career for me. So I want to thank Hi TV and the entire team uh, for giving me this opportunity. Mata mavi pene obe ruwa hama tena then over na Piti kale age no tiburu eka he tuwa inna ta ba Api geo kale matak pene hama moho tema inna ta ba Eliya ta inna sira vela rudu si hina ka Kata kari yaba genda Me divi gama na maya nam Mana mali karagannam 